This is the Pythagorean theorem proof. Step one, draw two perfect squares. On the first square, draw two lines about three inches away from the left-hand corner, one vertical and one horizontal. Then we label the sides A and B, labeling the short sides A and labeling all long sides B. Once you've done that, you find the area for each square within the square. The formula to find the area of a square is length times width. So A times A equals A squared. B times A equals AB. A times B equals AB, and B times B equals B squared. Then combine similar shapes, A squared plus B squared. And AB plus AB equals 2AB. So the total square is a squared plus b squared plus ab equals total square. On the second square, mark your line about two inches away from the right corner. Going clockwise, continue this three more times. Once you've done that, connect the line so that it becomes a square within a square. Next label A, B, and C, A being the shorter legs, B being the longer legs, and C being the hypotenuse of each triangle. The formula defining the area of a triangle is one half base times height. All four triangles equal one half AB. Add them all up and it equals two to AB. Then you find the area of the square, which is c times c equals c squared. This is proving the Pythagorean theorem part 3. To prove that, bo to prove that both squares are equal, you must set both, equ both squares equal to each other in an equation. Since the total squares are the same, their areas are the same. a squared plus b squared plus 2ab equals c squared plus 2ab. Now you can cross cancel both 2ab's and you are left with the Pythagorean theorem.